hailing from Walichka, Poland. Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur the Pin Spuka. Arthur Mercanti, the third man in the ring. This is round one. Spilka, the white trunks, blue trim. Kopnowski, the white trunks, the red trim. Kopnowski unbeaten. Here's a right hand by Kopnowski. Right away, you see Spilka trying to take away the clutch counter for that Kopnowski. Yeah, you need. Now that we got the audio problem situated. Last 30 seconds here of round one. Spilka, of course, the southpaw. And Kovnowski, orthodox fighter. We apologize for the audio problems we had at the top of this fight. Crowd into it. There's a left hand by Spilka. Final 10 seconds of round one. In a spirited first round. You're watching the PBC on Fox. On Fox, we're inside the NYCB Live Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum here in Long Island, New York. Artur Spilka is trainer Ronnie Shields. This is round two. He takes on the unbeaten Adam Kopnowski. Both men from Poland, and let me tell you something. There are a lot of Poles here inside this venue. And one thing about Kopnowski, even though he's a heavyweight Virgil, he's a volume puncher. In fact, according to CompuBox, he has the all-time heavyweight record. Most punches thrown in a round. He threw 141 back in October of 2015. You're absolutely right, Brian, and he's doing he's oh, trying to boy. display that volume Double tonight. We have a very spirited fight here, particularly in the first round. Both men seem very determined. Konowski so far is pressing the issue. Yeah, Konowski is def definitely landing the stronger punches out of the two so far. He's certainly a guy that always comes forward. Defense is in his forte. 
But he's going to throw a lot of punches as he tries to just smother Spilka. You see Spilka missed with the uppercut. What Kamowski's got Spilka doing is fighting his fight. Spilka needs to settle down, use his jab more, catch Kamowski com coming in because he's leaving himself wide open in order to get the punches off. Spilka needs to settle down a little more and go to more fundamentals and not fight his fight. It's been 18 months since Artur Spilka has been in the ring. That's when Deontay Wilder really put him to sleep there with that right hand. He broke his left hand, his power hand in that fight in the fifth round. Said he spent six months of it in the cast. Couldn't really do too much of anything. But he said the one lesson he learned was to start using his right hand a lot more. Said, told us we will see a lot more of the jab tonight and the check right hook. That was a nice counter shot, counter right hook. Kownowski having a little swelling around the left eye already from that right hand, so he is utilizing it very well at this Follow point. Behind that double. There you go, now step back. Spilka missed with that left hand, but here's a combination by Kownowski. As we're inside a minute here in round two. What Spilka has to realize is after he gets his shots off, he has to go into his defense immediately because Kownowski will continue to punch. He shows you busy punches, then he comes with accurate punches. He's got a mix-up, which confuses Phil, uh, Spilka at the moment. Spilka missed with that left hand. Z pops the jab. Come on, head movement. Follow up. A champ for Kownowski by the crowd. Step right there. Good. Yeah, I definitely see a lot of Polish fans in the arena. That's a good crowd here for him tonight. Kownowski, born in Poland, moved to Brooklyn at the age of seven as a left hand at the bell by Spilka. Adam Kownowski, he's a volume puncher, and he's getting his punches off. Third round when we come back. It's the BBC on Fox. Are you on FS1, you might see Danny Garcia in the house. Yeah, I'm definitely coming out, you know. <laughs> For a Philly guy. Alan Iverson's my brother from another. <laughs> this is round three. First fight of the night. Heavyweights, Artur Spilka. The white trunks, the blue trim. Taking on Adam Kownowski, the white trunks. The red trim, both from Poland. Spilka now makes his home in Houston, trains under Ronnie Shields in the Plex gym. Kognowski coming forward, throwing those punches and bunches. Spilka really comfortable on the ropes, making a miss. Can't get too comfortable. Head movement. Fainting. Head movement. Spilka seems to be settling in now. Minute gone here in round three. Oh, lunge. Good. Good slip. Good slip. Head movement. Here's a right hand. Don't hold. Oh, Still to catch coming in now. Kodowski is telegraphing what he's doing. He's finishing well when he gets there, but he's telegraphing his entrance. Here's a jab by Kownowski. Get those legs. Hands up. Minute left here in round three. <laughs> Check, 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 check. To realize now. now that Kowalski will throw after he's finished, so he's being alert much more. And he's finding his target a little better. Spilka off balance. Throws that left hand to the stomach of Kowalski. Like Spilka, yeah, Spilka's uh, controlling the distance this round to me. Right hand connects by Kowalski. 
Combinations and stepping around. Right again. Right Combination. He puts Spilka against the ropes. Another right hand by Kovnowski. Final seconds here, round three. There's a left hand by Spilka. Right hand by Kovnowski at the bell. Action picking up here in round three as the baby face on the attack. You're watching the PBC here on Fox. On Fox, that's Adam Kovnowski. Well, seven years ago, when his career began, he missed nearly three years after hurting his, his hand twice. Had surgery on it, injured his left bicep. Sparring Vladimir Klitschko. We take a look at the punch stats from round three. And you can see, look at the number of punches that Kovnowski throws as he comes right back after Spilka. Kovnowski. Go ahead, go ahead, champ. Kovnowski landed some good straight right hands in, the in this round and the last round. Back in Spilka up. It looks like he's done his homework, champ. When Spilka exits on the same side in the same way, he's right there waiting for him for that right hand, just yeah. like right there. Yeah, Spilka tried to catch him, and he caught him a couple times coming forward. And you heard Brian Kenny allude to it at the beginning of the broadcast. Listen, you look at Kovnowski's body. It's not the prettiest thing, but at one point, he was up to 290. He's now fighting at 246, the lowest he's ever fought since 2010. Kovnowski has a good, straight, stiff right hand, and he times it well. When, when Spilka gets off, he times it well. He shoots it right down the gap, and he lands it every time. It's sort of meeting him at the corner with it. If you watch Spilka, he exits the same way with his hands down, right yep. there. There's the right hand. Hands down, and Kovnowski letting his hands go to drop Spilka. Spilka needs to hold on. His legs are not steady. The volume of punches. Mm. There's another combination. And that's it. Al Mercani has seen enough. Welcome to the heavyweight division, Adam Kumnowski. That right hand did it. We wanted to see how Artur Spilka will respond after taking that devastating knockout loss to Dante Wilder. Well, Brian, it's like I said in the fighters meeting yesterday, there's an old saying, when you see the sawdust, the meal is not far away. So it's obvious that that, that punch that Wilder caught him with computed when he was hit by Bonowski. So um, it's gonna be a tough comeback for Artur Spilka at this point. Adam Kovnowski said he wanted to prove that he was a legitimate heavyweight contender. He did so tonight here in the big city. When we come back, the official time of the stoppage. You're watching the PBC here on Fox.